Minister's. He's an old salt, gets off to a good start, squeeze back just a bit there, Minister's bid and Dr. Pleasure. Here's High Cotton with his early speed, Bluegrass Cat and Bernardini right there together. So under the wire for the first time and Bernardini goes on with it. Bernardini goes on with it. As High Cotton defers to Bernardini early and Johnny Velasquez will peak Bluegrass Cat right there on the tail of Bernardini in the early stages here. And the first quarter goes in 23 and 2 fifth seconds. Farther back in the field, he's an old salt who's got it to the outside. And Stablemates Minister's Bid and Dr. Pleasure. So it's Bernardini the leader. And glued to his flank, Johnny Velasquez and Bluegrass Cat as they turn into the backstretch here at Saratoga. Bernardini is the leader. Three quarters of a length. Bluegrass Cat his shadow. 48 seconds flat. A very patient opening half mile here. Just in behind, High Cotton runs along in third. He's an old salt. Dr. Pleasure now is running along in fifth, and he's only five lengths from the lead. Minister's bid is the last of six. Down the backstretch run. Bernardini, Bluegrass Cat, 1-2, with a half mile to go here in the Travers. They've run three quarters in 1-12 and 3. On the far turn, Bernardini still with that lead. Johnny Velasquez exhorts Bluegrass Cat. He's an old salt. Is it an all-out drive? But he's still three and a half lengths behind. Just to his inside, it's Dr. Pleasure. And they're coming to the top of the stretch. And Bernardini, Bernardini slips loose now from Bluegrass Cat. Bluegrass Cat took a run at him. And he's going to take another run at him as they turn for home. And the stage is set in the Travers. Bernardini, Bernardini has turned back. Bluegrass Cat at the eighth pole. Bernardini is pouring it on and he's pulling away. Bluegrass Cat has been left in his wake. And on the outside, Dr. Pleasure, he's an old salt. Bernardini, brilliant once again. And he bounds home to an effortless victory in the late stages here. Well, with that victory in the Traverse Stakes, Bernardini supplants Kentucky Derby winner Barbaro as the top three-year-old in the country. And trainer Tom Albertrani, who was assistant to Hall of Fame trainer Bill Mott, with two-time Horse of the Year cigar tied citations, modern North American record of 16 straight wins, was asked to compare the two. He said, I'd put them in the same category. Well, it, it makes sense. Here's a look at the replay out of the starting gate. And you could see the two-horse race developing rather rapidly. No no surprise that Bernardini would go to the front. Look how he just pulls Javi Castellano right up to the front. But Johnny V, knowing that he has to attend the pace with Bluegrass Cat, sure he'd like to settle back a little bit more if he could, but he had to keep an eye on Bernardini and keep him honest, so to speak. As you can see, they get past the three-quarter mile pole. Now, as they're past the three-eighths pole and they come for home, things really haven't changed from the way they went into the turn. Bernardini in front by about a length and a half, and Bluegrass Cat. He was stalking earlier now. Now he is chasing Bernardini. Bernardini straightens up and heads for home, and Bluegrass Cat is all in. He's doing his best. His best is pretty darn good, but is not good enough to beat Bernardini. Who can? And look at Javi Castellano after the left-handed stick. Watch what he does with his right hand. We saw this a little bit from Bellamy Road when he won the wood a while back. Yeah, number one, a little pat on the neck. You still have a sixteenth of a mile to go, but Bernardini just wins this one with the greatest of ease. And I'm so impressed because his trainer, Tom Albertrani, has predicted this all along going back about a month and a half ago before for the Jim Dandy. Well, the best buyers of 2006, Bernardini now tied with Sinister Minister and his freakish win in the Bluegrass Stakes at 116. And then Silver Train, the defending TVG Breeders' Cup Sprint Champion, next at 115. Three of them there with Gordon Arrow and Malibu Mint. It was the first Travers win for trainer Tom Albertrani. He picked out a couple of races for Bernardini, the Grade 1 Jockey Club Gold Cup at Belmont October 7th, and of course the Breeders' Cup Classic at Churchill Downs on November 4th. After the race, New York Racing Association broadcaster Jan Rushton caught up with winning jockey Javier Castellano. Well, did you expect to be on the lead quite so early? Not really, because I know the other horse, the top pleasure horse, he got the speed too, but the horse, he's a Macy horse, he wants to go. He's feeling great today, he wants to go on the first time, and I put in the lead and do an easy job for him. Well, from the highs and the lows, once again, the roller coaster ride that is horse racing. The very talented and extremely well bred bluegrass cat sustained an injury, which they found after the Travers Stakes, a non displaced fracture of the right hind pastern. His racing career is over. They're not sure if it's going to need surgery or not. They have some options here, but 
His career is done. It is not life-threatening. And I think he is going to be a terrific stallion. That's the bad news. The good news is that Todd Pletcher finally got his breakout performance. Yeah, we know he was second in the Derby and second in the Belmont Stakes. He got his breakout performance in the Haskell, and he did not disrespect himself with a second-place finish to Bernardini. And afterwards, trainer Todd Pletcher talked about the disappointment losing one of his top runners. It's obviously very disappointing when you have your chief earner, your leading earner, and your top three-year-old um, get injured. But, you know, what it emphasizes to me is this is a horse of tremendous quality, tremendous courage to obviously get injured in a race like this and still run as well as he did and and uh, take a couple of different runs at a, at a very talented horse and, and continue trying.